and welcome back. So I look like a bit of an Eskimo actually because I've got tints around my head and this is very, very itchy but I wanted to try and get into the Christmas spirit and I realised I'm not doing that by doing this. It's just really, really uncomfortable. So in trying to keep with the Christmas spirit we have a tree in the background which is probably nicer than me wearing tints around my head and I thought I would do the Christmas tag video which is so original, so creative but hopefully somewhat interesting. Alright so if you've never seen a Christmas tag video before there are 10 questions or apparently there are 10 questions, this may just be this person's one that I found. But the first question is when do I start getting excited about Christmas? Well I would say sort of mid-November sort of time, it does depend a bit on like how I'm feeling generally this year, it certainly was around mid-November or just before. Because uh, I spoke to my sister Nikita and she had said she had already started listening to Christmas music at work. So I felt that it was justified to just start listening to Christmas music straight away. Sort of the 10th of November I think it was. Which in hindsight was quite early but I don't regret it at all. Do I still have advent calendars? Well, yes is the answer to that. This was a gift from work actually. Everyone at work got an advent calendar for free which is pretty cool. But we do still have advent calendars. My mum's made one but she hasn't put anything in it yet. And it is now the 1st of December as of recording this, so it means basically we're not getting anything in our advent calendar this year. But hey, I have this one and I haven't opened it yet, so let me do that now. It's the 1st today. Where is the first? This is the trouble with advent calendars, I just never know where it... There we go, okay. And now you need like... You need like... I don't, um, I don't know who made an advent calendar and stuff, but when they... Like this... You can't barely open the door. And when you open the door, you can't open the flipping... In, look, it's just, it's not coming off. There we, there we go, chocolate, and then you have to like push the back. And all for, this isn't an exaggeration, that's how big it, like, I can't make that look bigger than it is. That's, that is the, it's like the size of, well that was um, some nice chocolate. So, what are my favourite Christmas films? I'll be honest, I've never really sat down and watched a Christmas film. I know there are a lot going around, and there have been like in the past and stuff, and they get shown on like Channel 5 and stuff, and people just sit there all day watching films. I don't really have a favourite because I don't really watch them, so I'm not actually too clued up on Christmas films, I'm being honest here, I'm probably going to get a lot of hate for that. I know like, I think, is it Elf is quite popular, like, I've seen some clips of that, like, Santa, I know him, but other than that, I just don't really watch Christmas films, and I haven't even seen that to be honest with you. Do you have any funny Christmas memories? Well, as it happens, I do. So, a couple of Christmases ago, back when we used to live in Reading, my mum decided it would be a great idea to get out the champagne. Nice idea, you know, Christmas, celebrate champagne. Why wouldn't you? And if you don't already know, champagne, when you take it off, it can pop and, and go everywhere. Which is exactly what happened to my, I think it's my stepsister's at the time boyfriend. So, you know, it sort of sprayed all over him at the dinner table for dinner. Which was absolutely hilarious, but at the time I don't think he found it too funny. Because obviously he sat there now just covered in champagne, regretting every decision he ever made to come to our house for Christmas dinner. Talk us through your typical Christmas day. So if last year was anything to go by, I stayed in bed till about 11 o'clock and everyone got really annoyed at me. Generally speaking, we'll come down and we'll open like these sacks or these stockings or these things of presents, like little teasers, you know, to get you into the Christmas spirit. So we'll all open those. There's normally about 12 of us or something crazy, ridiculous amount of people. And then we'll open those and then we sort of take a break, we get showered, we have breakfast and then somehow it's then one o'clock and we're eating dinner, lunch, whatever you want to call it. Massive turkey on the table, so much food. And my mum every year, she said it this year as well actually, is, oh, I won't do much food this year, I won't do much food because I'm always, I'm always putting out more food than I need to. And she said it, sat right here, right there, and I was over here, and I said to her, you will put out loads of things. She said, no, I won't, no, I won't. And I'm going to take a picture this Christmas. Christmas Day, and I will upload it to Twitter. I guarantee you, there will be so much food. It generally, most of it gets eaten, but there's just a horrendous amount of food. And the reason it gets eaten is because people don't like to waste food, which is fair enough, but it, there's just, it's just a ridiculous amount of food that we we end up having for Christmas dinner. We sit around for a bit, have a cup of tea. I don't personally, but we're British. That's something apparently we all do. Uh, and then I think we may Skype someone this year because there are people like up and down the country and in other countries and continents and family just dotted around the, the, the world really. So I think we Skyped those. Then presents, 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 presents. So last year and actually every year before that, we would all buy each other presents. And this is about 12 people buying everyone presents, which 12 times 12 is a number, I don't know what. It's a high number. That many presents is going to cause problems because it takes so long. I remember once, one Christmas, we were sat around until about seven o'clock, and I kid you not, till seven o'clock, from one o'clock to about seven o'clock, with very few breaks, just opening presents constantly. So this year, for the first time, we haven't done this before this year, um, 
we haven't done this before this year. Well, no, because it's only just Christmas. We haven't done it before at all. They're doing like a Secret Santa style thing. So we've all just got one person to buy for. It's like 60 to 100 pounds that you need to spend. Uh, so, you know, you're still spending a lot of money. But there's not just an insane amount of presents that are just sitting around under the tree. Spending forever to try and open them. So, that's all changed. And then people usually just go off, eat chocolate and watch Doctor Who and, and things like that. What do you eat for Christmas dinner? Well, what most people eat. Turkey, potatoes, carrots. Brussels sprouts are there, but I don't eat them. Pigs in blankets, not literally. It's it's a sausage wrapped around in bacon. And uh, yeah, you know, a lot of food that you don't really need. Do you have any Christmas tradi- Do you have any Christmas traditions? Traditions is how you say that word. Not really. Um, I mean, we used to have this like, I, I, I want to call it an advent calendar, but it's not like just this calendar thing which my mum has now lost Which is really upsetting because we we all really like that um, And it, every morning we'd be like we, when we were going to school We used to try and be the first one down to like move it across It's such a little thing but just to move it across to the next day But we've lost that well, I say we my mum lost that she's probably put in a really safe place And now doesn't know where it is, but other than that, I don't really have Christmas editions I mean normally it would be I'd wait for the coke advert, which if you don't know what it is, it's this And then I would play Christmas music, not like not immediately afterwards. It wouldn't come on, I'd go, well, it's Christmas music time. It would be like, that would be, okay, it's officially Christmas time now. And I suppose it, that's still sort of a tradition up and down the country. It's like that Coke advert, once it plays, that's officially Christmas time. But, you know, I the, the whole Christmas music thing, I just couldn't resist. Which are your favorite Christmas songs? Well, I kind of like Do They Know It's Christmas Time. Uh, it's kind of cool song. It's a bit like morbid and down, but it is a nice song all, all round. Like we all we actually learnt sign language back in that in year six. I remember feed the world is this and that, which is really weird when you're going feed the world because it's like world the feed. It doesn't make sense, but apparently that is what it is. And apparently that's Christmas tree. Someone knows probably, probably sorry, sorry there. Someone's probably going to be watching this video thinking, what is he on about? That's not the sign language at all. I promise, that's what we learned back in year six. Apparently it was then, I don't know if it still is. I don't know if sign language changes or not, I don't know. But apparently this is Christmas tree and this was Feed the World. But hey, we did learn the whole thing for That's just like all like, oh, and a uh, smile or, and a tear and, and stuff like that. But that's generally, it is a good song. I like it. What is the best Christmas present you've ever received? Well, I've received a lot of Christmas presents. I remember one year I received two torches and then got told off when I said I didn't want them and didn't like them. To be fair, I was young, but also I don't understand why I received two torches because I never asked for them and I never particularly wanted them. But that wasn't what your worst Christmas present was. And I'm not ungrateful, by the way. I just, I was really young back then. I was just like, well, I didn't want this. But best Christmas present ever. I don't know because I've received so many good presents and just so many presents in general I couldn't nail it down to one thing I don't want to seem like I'm being biased to one person if I said oh they got me the best thing ever so I, I, but I genuinely I don't know I mean maybe this year I'll get the best thing ever and I'll be like well that's it that is it right there but as it stands I don't know real or fake Christmas tree well let me go and find out excuse me are you real or fake uh, I, I'm, I'm real you're not though, are you? No, I am, I promise. You're not? No, I really, I am a real tree. I don't, I, I don't know what that was all about. It is a fake tree. Um, but yeah, we got that this year actually. Brand new, with all the ball balls which match it. And I, I don't know why they did that. But anyway, that's, that's our tree. That's this video. I do hope you guys have enjoyed. Bit of a weird video, I know. All my videos are a bit weird, but as I say, I do hope you guys enjoyed. Three more Christmassy videos if I can think of anything to do. So I do hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, smash that like button, subscribe if you're new around here. And other than that, I'll see you next time. Rocking around the Christmas tree. You can't go around the... That's immediately a problem for that song actually, isn't it?